hey guys welcome welcome we are back and i am very excited um plans of water blocking or water cooling uh my pc as a new upgrade um to learning uh, about pcs and also upgrading my actual pc anyway um is has arrived um so i've been looking into it for about a week now and i went for it basically <laughs> and especially with the hot weather we've been having recently and my pc being so hot that i've moved it from near my legs to above onto my computer desk itself high above me i was like right it's still too hot <laughs> let's see if this water cooling will um cool it down even more which it is meant to um, but also it's just going to look absolutely awesome fingers crossed um so today i have um got almost everything there are just one thing that i'm missing in order to start um the water cooling process um but i've got all the parts apart from the bending kit um, because i am going to be doing hard line um, which i know is probably a stupid idea for a beginner um but it is uh in my opinion looks the best and my computer deserves the best <laughs> so with that we're gonna um do a load of unboxing um here um so let's uh head on over i'll go through all the bits and pieces with um you hopefully any suggestions or anything please let me know i have bought everything already so we'll see so step one this is the GPU water block and as you can see there I've put in down the exact um, things this is the EK EK yeah EK uh, water block um, this is the correct water block for my um, Rogue Strix 3090 I've looked it up I've gone on the website I've looked everything up and obviously as you can see there rgb which is what we want uh, so if i just do a quick um show you lot what it says on the website because i've also i'm prepared myself um maybe uh just it needs to load up the website there we go so i've showed you a lot so this is on the official um ek water block website uh, and this is what I have purchased. Ignore the pricing that is in euros. I didn't pay that. I have you um, pounds, British pounds. Um, but yeah, this is the water block, as you can see. I am going to open it up. I have opened up. No, I haven't opened this one up, have I? No, I haven't opened this up. So we'll see um, what it really looks like. Um, but yeah, this is going to be for um, uh, the GPU so it's all good and also um ek uh website is really good uh you can also see here you can check to see if it's compatible with your um graphics card which mine is here uh where is it here yeah these two so that is brilliant and also you can download the manual because i don't think it comes with an actual manual uh, so, but you can download the installation manual and you know if you can see youtube videos it also does give you like warnings etc you know obviously different types of metal you're only allowed to use on certain metals so um yeah it's just something about cooling as well which is okay because i've got that so we're going to do some unboxing i am not a fancy um you know unbox i don't have one of those knives that open up and you know open all these boxes that i just have plain old boring scissors um so <laughs> hello angel how are you so yeah we're gonna go ahead and start unboxing all these different parts should close them let's put them there uh which way up do we think it's going to be this way gonna have one of these these things i absolutely hate i mean this isn't bad because it's got a little slit there where i can put sort of pull it open but sometimes they don't and i'd end up ripping the edges here just trying to get this bit out 
so frustrating but this so far i've been going pretty well so i'll open it up this way maybe so you can see oh actually i open it like here so what we got mountain fixtures got the lovely l shaped um allen key device looks like we've got the caps as well some extra caps lots of little washers and lots of little screws um not getting nervous at the moment <laughs> but just a separate this isn't wasn't actually part of it we also got this i fix it so we can do that and put all these little bits and screws because look how tiny these screws are tiny 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 but yep and we also it looks like we've got some um thermal paste eco paste there as well got some thermal pads which i do know that you need to do that they're very flexy so i'll put this on one side there and then this pulls up here uh do not forget other ek products for your liquid cooling system Blocks, radiators, reservoirs, pumps, accessories, fittings. Please visit website. Blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, you have to advertise. Here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I wonder why I was sliding about a bit. I'm not going to take the plastic off, guys, because I don't want to get fingerprints on the actual acrylic. Um, because I always have quite sort of greasy hands, even though I wash them um which is naturally greasy and i don't want to be getting it dirty uh when i probably install i'm probably gonna be oh no it's broke oh broke. it's broke ah oh, well this is going to be a return but this is was the water block so i don't have everything um so this is going to take me a while now to return this and get a new one um that's annoying okay anyway this is um the water block it's quite heavy actually but as you can would have seen this is where uh, the tubes will be coming out of for the water block itself. The RGB um, wire comes out here. Three pin. See where the thermal pads have been going. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Um, so I'm going to need to contact them to get that replaced. Um, uh, so I'll be on the phone to them tomorrow. or I'll probably ring them, actually. I was going to say I can email them. But it would be faster if I just contact them and ring them. So let's put that away and never talk about it again. <laughs> and if they want evidence, <laughs> I'll just send them the stream. So yeah, rip GPU block. I mean, that's how it sort of was, wasn't it? But that is was the GPU block. Put that away. Probably need to go and take some pictures of that later to just to prove it, because I'll probably say, oh, you need to send pictures and whatnot. But yeah, but other than that, it is a really good um, water block, I've been told, and I've done some research on, so it's really good. And it'll look really nice in the PC. So that's that. Also, as I said, you can see it's RGB lit. It's going to look amazing. So yeah. All right, next is um, sort of a boring part, but obviously because it's water blocked, it will need a back plate. Um, so this is the back plate. Again, this is compatible with my um, GPU. Um, so let's go 
and just get the specs up for this. Well, I say specs. Uh, hydrate. Okay, cheers. Um, so let's open this up, shall we? Very thin. Okay, that just goes like that. So first thing, so uh, mountain, flat plate, flat plate rather. Again, tiny ass little screws. I don't know if you could like see how small these screws are. Tiny. That's where the iFixit will be coming in with the magnetic tip. Uh, a few little plastic washers and some nuts on there. That's empty. Alright, so. Okay, the back plate is in here. Okay. Right. Original packaging. If broken, please check. If broken, please check the contents. Lucky I did open that straight off because I would be telling them like I haven't even opened it because I can see it is broken. Right, as you lot can see, we have lots of um, thermal pads. Uh, they all look to be the same length. Um, I think it's thickness that um, is the main differences in these. Yeah, they've got some different thicknesses. Uh, as you can tell from like this one and this one, let's do this. Well, you can tell the different thicknesses. That one's this. This one's thick. This one's thin. So you got to make sure you put those on the right parts so that you get good contact um, with the um, metal parts, which the name is escaping me. Um, also, we've got the, a screw size guide. Okay, that's good. Because there's different lengths of screws again because of the um, thickness of the um, acrylic. So this is it, guys. See me? Hi. <laughs> but I went for, there was a black version, but I went for the chrome version because I thought it would fit in nicely with some of the um, parts that I have in my PC already I had this nice little like rounded lines as well got the EK try not to get it too dirty and put fingerprints on there yep yeah, let's have a look at this so this is the, it's just a sort of standard um, back plate, but it's nice and chrome. Again, you can check compatibility and also the installation manual in here because obviously the thermal um, bits and everything need to be correct. The thermal pad sizes need to be all correct. Um, and the only thing that is in here is this. So it doesn't come with an actual manual. Uh, so you do have to download them off of EK's website if you're using EK product. I'll put this there. Put this back. Oops. Sound in. It's going to be staticky. This is going to be the friggin' hardest part and the longest part. Putting it stuff back in. There we go. That wasn't actually too difficult. Sometimes they're right pain. She says. Oh no. Break the bag at the bottom here.
There we go. No, there we go. There we go. Right. So we stick this back in. I want the thermal pads. And we put that back there. So yeah, guys, that's the back plate. It is very shiny. I didn't realize it'd be that shiny, but I think it would go really well with the RGB um, of the fans that I've got. Somehow, something like that, something like that. Yep, so that was the quantum um, backplate, Vectus. Uh, so next we're going on to the CPU block. So here's the CPU block. Again, I went with EK. I think I've, yeah, I've gone with EK for all the sort of components in terms of the water blocking. There's only one component that um, isn't um, from EK, which I'll show you in a second. But this is the water block. Um, just make sure that it is obviously for whatever... Um, a processor you're using so i'm using a uh, amd uh chip so and if also obviously you've got um the intel chips and um, so just make sure you've got the right ones there this is also rgb and hopefully it'll look something cool like this so or even like this but this is sort of what it's going to be looking like. Let's hide that because we're going to see it for ourselves. Come on. Come on. There we go. It's just this way. Uh, so what's this mountained okay got a few springs in there <laughs> sort of look like standoffs oh got a little plastic bracket there again um manual is going to be on the ek website just make sure you're getting the right compatibility uh, this is some thermal paste looks like it i don't need um thermal paste to use the thermal paste because i actually have a thermal pad which i do find a lot easier especially if you are going to be you know removing things from your um cpu um because um i get no i get full coverage all over um and it's just a lot easier than sticking and getting all thermal paste all over the place but this is it there we go oh that's better oh look at that that's a beauty so tiny so i don't know if you lot can see i'll try and angle it a bit better so you can see um this way you can see here we've got little arrows just above where the holes are uh, so this arrow is pointing in and this one's pointing out so that's the intake so it'll be, and the water will be going in and this is going to be the outtake um so yeah please move before use also again it's rgb looks like we've got the rgb header coming out of the bottom actually you know what i might just open up this bit and just try not to touch the lock itself so yeah this is it so obviously we've got the victus uh, logo sign there so it's going to be like that in my case uh, with the ek symbol 
facing downwards which again like i said means that the rgb is going to be at the bottom which is a little bit of an inconvenience because i would have got to thread it up um uh, through um where to get to my rgb controller if i did it like that hmm it just wastes a lot of what's this just plastic okay yeah so it just wasted a lot of the cable so it's not as long as you may expect but we'll see we'll, we'll, we'll potentially make it work oh there's plastic thing on this oh, okay that's cool so i can put my fingerprints in there and then just make sure i peel it off at the end Sweet. Let's put this back somehow. Really? Put that back there. But again guys that is the cpu um block again you don't actually have to um water block every component you can just literally water block your cpu you can just water block your um gpu you can water block m.2s nowadays you know you name it you can water block it um but i'm gonna water block as much as i can within reason which is mainly just my cpu and um my gpu yep that's the cpu all done uh i have already i think downloaded all the manuals uh let me just show you guys what it will look like nicely in there although they they conveniently sort of hidden their um, rgb wire very well <laughs> in there and again, just note which um, Ryzen or M uh, AMD compatibility uh, socket it's compatible with. So yeah, CPU. Right, next we have our pump. Now I uh, brought a pump reservoir combo. This actually came yesterday. Uh, so i was very excited so i have actually opened this and checked it and it looks cool this is very heavy um but this is another um quantum um from ek uh, it's a combo unit um again rgb so i have like i said opened this so it should just all pop out nicely Ooh. she says <laughs> and again this is what i was talking about with these little tabby things See, this one came with a little tab, so I just got that to pull this out. It makes it so much easier. I really wish all of them do it. Like that. Oops. Not upside down. So here is the water block. And I will be showing you where I intend on putting this in my case with a little diagram that I drew. Because like I said, I have been planning and thinking about this for at least a week um so yeah this is it so we can see here we've got the pump uh nicely here it is quite heavy it's a big boy reminds me of the size of the gpu and the weight of it uh, but yeah we've got our um bits here intakes and whatnot here we also have two at this on the side part here which is nice um, so yeah and this is all this space is going to be full up which i actually do need to check actually i'm going to the website uh what um how much um liquid i wonder if it'll say on here how much liquid it takes uh for this uh flows up to one and a half oh no wait uh pump reservoir unit equipped with a uh, m5 pump which i heard is a, a more decent than an mm5 or is it mmr or ddr sorry dd 
are, I think the other um, pub is called. Um, so the D5 one, I know a spare one, uh, comp uh, which is compatible for delivering flow up to 150 per hour maximum flow. No, so it's not a bit, that's not it. So this one also does come in each side. So I've got the 240 um, millimeter um, size, which is this one, uh, which is basically a two fan, uh, you know, radiator sized, um, just to give you a comparison of what size and that is, uh, which is this one here. Uh, the reason why I've got this one is I've got two fans at the moment uh, at the bottom of my case, which I am planning on putting um, this in replacement of um, which i'll show you all at the end of it ah here we go so hold 265 milliliters uh liquid will be going in here so 265 milliliters of fluid you will need to be fill this uh, because i also ordered um the fluid today uh, which i'll show you again uh, towards the end uh um and we wasn't 100 percent sure how much we would need uh so we got quite a lot <laughs> from the by the looks of it um so yeah so back to the website again installation manual is in here um also comes with these mounting brackets which i believe means you can actually attach them to sort of an edge of some a radiator or like on fans but i'm not 100 percent sure but i can't really do them on fans because the pipes, uh, the actual pump's going to be in the way. Um, but anyway, show you the rest of what's in here, uh, which is basically just that. Put that there, put in here. Uh, there's nothing in that, but we've got the little mounting mechanism here. See, they didn't put in this though. See, that's annoying. All they do is put a little tab and I could just pull it open like this. Instead, I have to go underneath here and potentially rip something, which is frustrating. So this is the mounting bracket. So we've got all the little screws, Allen key. It's all in there. These ones are a lot bigger than the, um, uh, the water block types, as you can see the size difference of how they were um, but yeah these are the little mounts so i presume again i'm not going to take this one out because this is the acrylic i don't want to get my greasy fingers on there um oh well, actually no i don't <laughs> so this will go like that there And then it stands either like that, I think, or like that. It has to be like that. It can't be like that. It has to be facing downwards like that. Um, so I am thinking the way I'm doing it of utilising these ports. Um, but we shall find out. Um, actually... Oh, yeah, I was about to say, there's no caps for these, but then obviously you need at least two, so you just replace them with whichever ones you're using. Silly me! Uh, because you got to have the fittings to go on it. So, let's put this all back real quick. I don't know how to put this back. This one was easy, not broken. can't believe that GP is broken. It's very frustrating. Mm. Shouldn't have started off with that one. <laughs> That's the exciting part. Whee. Whee. Right, next we have my distro plate. So this is a fan net fan oh how do you pronounce it? Fan tech. Fan tech. Fantex um, distro plate. It's the D120 RGB. Um, so I had a dream. <laughs> I had a dream. Um, they do a D140. And I will show you the difference in a second. 
uh, but just to give you an idea of what it will look like it's like this um, so this is the actual dish plate. It is RGB. So this bit here will be RGB, the one that I've got. So this basically, uh, D120, um, sort of maybe give it away a bit. It will fit on the back of your case where a 120 millimeter fan will sit. Um, so that is why it's called D220. Um, two, uh, two uh, just give you some more other pictures. Just real quick feel a bit load and loading i don't know why it's doing that um but yeah and also you can get the manual here it's only in english the back of it though is black like this which is fine because you don't really see the back of your case very much and i don't know why you would want to see the back of your case so it's like that but they had um let me oh distro plates they had this one which I had my heart set on because I really liked this because this not only will go where your um, back fan will go but it also goes down the side um, sort of where you have like your gr little grate on particularly in my PC and I was like brilliant that will fill the hole up it'll have the nice liquid going through it and everything it only supports 140 millimeter fans at your back and mine is unfortunately only uh, doesn't support a 140 it only supports a 120 which was a bit confusing considering i've got a full tower and most cases nowadays are 140 back fans um so that was a bit annoying and again you can see here it says uh, atx um sh chassis with a rear 140 millimeter fan positioning so luckily I noticed that and uh, me and Deja just double checked to check the, um, your case. Um, normally if you go to your case uh, and look it up online, you'll be able to see, you know, what type of fans can fit where, radiator sizes can fit where. Um, but yep, so they did have thankfully a 120. I did want a distro plate just because I do feel that if I'm doing a liquid cool, it should be... I should be able to see more liquid in there. I, f I feel like some of the components, you don't really see it like moving around much. And because I've got a um, pump reservoir combo, I just don't feel like you see it much. And I do like, like the pattern in a sense that this sort of makes and whatnot. So I really wanted to have a distro plate as well. Luckily, again, they had the D120. Um, so let's see and unbox this i did actually open this as well just to show my mum and this is one that i also potentially ripped because they have these little tabby things again i could not get my um, fingers in there we go as you can see i did actually rip it there because not just them but before because it, they're so annoying um and let me see this. So it's tiny, it's only obviously 120 millimeter. So we got our screws, I believe, will be in there. We do have a manual on this because it's not EK. Uh, so we do have a manual which I will just um, probably show you actually here. Um, so I'll put that to one side. So here's the actual block itself. I'm really glad it has a protective cover over it because I can see sort of scratches on this already, which is a bit unfortunate. Not on the actual thing, but on here. Uh, so yeah this is going to be fitting at the back it's lovely and smooth this side still got a bit of ventilation here for the back uh, so that's nice looks like it's literally as you would put on a fan you've got your four screws here and here that connect to the back you've got the logo nicely here so it's obviously going to be that side is the bottom so in my back it'll be like that so yeah, and all the liquid is going to be obviously where the O-rings are. So you've got a section, big section here, and you've got a little section here. And if I just show you the diagram here, 
Um, so I am intending on using the fill port here on this particular um, on my loop um, that I've got planned out at the moment. It might change. It depends. I haven't obviously 100% fixed out um, the um, loop itself. I've got all the positionings of where I want to put everything. Um, it's just debating where the loops are going to be bending and if I'm capable of bending them. Um, but you can see here, obviously, you've got an in there and out there for that little bit there. And then you've got a in and out here. I may not be utilizing all of these. You can just like cut off one and have one in here. And that would just sort of be redundant. It wouldn't have no obviously fluid in it because stuff is going in there. Um, but yeah, so we've got a design. We'll see how it goes. Um, also, RGB. Okay, yep. So we do have a little header here. Uh, so that obviously that's in here. I'll open that up in a second. So that'll be at the top of the case. It would have been nice if it was more maybe on this side. But this is where the RGB strip is. So I suppose that's where it's going to be. Uh, it's just it'd be nicer to be up against the motherboard so that I don't have to run the cable now across the top of here, round into the motherboard, into the um, controller that I have. Uh, it controls all my RGBs which will be another fun step. So yeah, this is just the RGB uh, adapt. Let me just actually get this out. Anti Anti-static bag for some, for some reason. Simply. <laughs> ah, here we go. Oh, wait, well, we've got two parts here. Have we got two parts? Hmm. Let me put this together, guys, because I'm a bit confused. Color me confused. All right, so that goes in there. That's. It is actually quite long, so. But this is tiny. Look how tiny that is. Um, and I presume it goes in a certain way. Which may be this way. Oh, maybe the other way. Maybe not. So it goes in that way. So it's quite a long actually, so that shouldn't be a problem or an issue. Um then we've got this can only go into this. Right. Is it just a converter? It's a male and female. I'm actually kind of confused. Oh, wait, wait. So that's if you're plugging it into your motherboard directly. Or if you're plugging it into a... A, um... Like... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Like Commander Pro. A hub that's what i'm looking for and are you going got a female and male connectors there okay so that's interesting so they're giving you um different options in order to plug it in but it does mean you have quite a lot of extra cabling but better long than short um so yeah i'm gonna pull this out oh no 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 okay so I just went to pull that out, and I don't know if you could just see there. The actual RGB strip is coming out as well. So just be careful. It's not really put in there. It doesn't really stay in there, <laughs> should we say. But that's alright, we noticed it quite soon, so. 
That's it. Let's put this away, shall we? Cable management, guys. Cable management. That's one. There's two. Put them back in the little baggie. It actually did confuse me quite a bit. I wasn't expecting that, I was just expecting a single cable. What was I guessing? Oh, the screws, yeah. And uh, a washer. A plug, rather, should I say. Probably to plug off the fill there. And the screws and an allen key to attach it to the actual case itself on the back that's nice it's never gonna look the way you opened it is it no again it comes with the instructions it actually says what it comes with so they've got the dedicated dedicated rgb um cable and a dedicated motherboard adapter. Okay. Okay, so that's only if you put in the motherboard. Okay. That's good. Sweet. Uh, underneath there. All nice back. Nice foam. And what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to put these tabs back so I can open it up properly again next time. So I'm not going to put these back in. So that was that. So next we have our radiators. So I have gone for a 360 milliliter white Corsair fan. Uh, of course, I fan. <laughs> of course, I radiator. So obviously, um, if anyone's seen um, up in the Discord, I've got a, a postings there for um, your setups. I post a lot of my upgrades that I've been doing over the sort of year or two um, in there. Um, so let me shout that out for you. Uh, social, maybe in the Discord section there um so yep you can go and see the progression of what it looks like now which i will be showing you um a bit later so let's get this off first um but my case does support a 360 uh radiator at the front i currently have my three fans there along with my 240 uh, millimeter radiator aio for my cpu at the moment uh, but this is where this bad boy is going to be going at the front now. So, um, and also I'm so lucky. I haven't, I, I found a few, um, fans, uh, that were in white, but Corsair is a brand that I know and trust. I have the fans, I have the power supply unit, I have the, um, what else do I have in there? I have the AIO in there. I have the RAM, um, so I have quite a lot of Corsair actually in my case. I have the Commander Pro, um, which controls all the RGBs from the fans, but they do are compatible with other fans. So, um, so yeah. Um, but I've always got the white stuff. I've got the white fans already all in there. Um, so this white edition is just going to be sweet. Come on. Ow. Just hit my head with the box. Come on. Oh, it's not going to come. I'll open it up both ways. Oh. 
Well, good thing about Corsair, they don't want to waste packaging. Of <laughs> course, they're sponsor of these. I mean, to be fair, they might have spent on them. <laughs> it would be nice. And I am promoting their products. I also have the Ingato Stream Deck, which is also a product from Corsair. <laughs> uh, so, what we've got in here? Probably open the fan first, which I presume is in here. <laughs> yes, it is. Now, there was also many different types of thicknesses of fans that I could have got. Um, the thicker the fan, the more fins it has, uh, which are obviously the inner part which um, cools um, the air, or in this case, the water. Um, well, no, it'd still be air, because the fans were doing it. Oh, I don't know, I'm not too sure. But it basically, fans cooling. Fins cooling. Yeah. So let's have a look at this. Oopsie. Ripped it. Oh well. Hopefully this isn't broken. And it, well, I won't know if this is broken to be fair until I actually put, put it in and start doing things to it. But yep, here we go. Lovely coarse hair fan 360 or we'll check them out so this is the price i think i actually got mine slightly cheaper uh, than this um but they do um come in different sizes uh i have my next one which i'll show you um but we've got the thickness so it's only a three centimeter or 30 millimeter uh thick radiator so it's not the thickest obviously you can get you can get loads thicker than this i know that you get like double i think um the thickness um but it should be uh, suffice enough for the cooling that i need to do uh, plus it is like i said a 360 rad uh just got also make sure you've got your fittings which ones can um fit on there that did take a little bit of work and fiddly, um figuring out what g quarter inch means and what you know millimeter um tubing i could put on there and whatnot so i mean we sort of worked it out in the end um it's just a quarter inch um i think the g is just a british standard um piping terminology that they use if i remember looking it up correctly um so yeah so all the pictures are pretty standard uh they do have um this little bit here which i, I was sort of looking into um so they've obviously as you can see here let's see if i can make this a little bit bigger for you lot to see so they've added in these little um metal pieces here because obviously where you put the screws into it might hit the um fins which obviously you don't want to happen um so they've actually um f very kindly thought of where you put um your fans on sorry uh, the screws for your fans um so they don't hit the fins and interfere with any of the coolant which is really nice and uh, um, considerate of them. It's um, something I don't know if a lot of other um, fan companies or other fans do. Um, so yeah, got the technical specs here. Three year warranty. Again, check your materials. So this is a copper and brass uh, and also it says your fan capacity, the threads, you know, port compatible, only mixed with other ones, you know, just all check, check, double check, 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 check. Um, but yeah, hopefully it will look something nice like this, uh, but we'll see. So yeah, that is a nice looking rad oops sorry <laughs> right, so let's wrap this bad boy up oh, let's just put it back in the case in the box or whatever let me just see what these little bits are oopsie so yeah, we've got loads of fan screws, bullets of it. 
different lamps. Yep, different lamp screws. As you see standard when it comes with your fans and radiators. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, this did not go in this box, no. And then we've got our little manual here. Uh, you screw the tiny screws uh, when mounting the radio directly to the sh chassis. Uh, B screws use standard 25 millimeter thickness fans, either directly through the chassis and use the even longer ones uh, if they're going through rubber pads, such as the Corsair LL RGB series. Which I'll have to double check. I don't believe the fans that I'm using. Uh, but that's it in here. Although they could have put that somewhere there, couldn't they? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. Bubble wrap. There. <laughs> That'll be alright, right? That'll keep it safe and secure. We uh, unless you do all aluminium build, although we cannot because no aluminium wall box. Yeah. So again, making sure that you're using the right um, metals for your water uh, for your water cooling system, because they are not all compatible with each other. Uh, oops, that wasn't me. There's me just sliding in this. Right, and then this slid in here. Right, now the next one. What's that? Is virtually exactly the same. But it's the... 220 uh, 240 milliliter uh, again why exactly the same as the other one actually i'm not even going to bother opening this it's just a smaller version uh, got the same screws got the same everything again exactly the same slightly cheaper <laughs> is, it broken? Uh, is it broken i will not know if it's broken you should open it and find out if it's broken open and find out okay Open and find out, and then I'm going to have to try and put it back together. And you open it and have like a hundred fins that are bent. hundred fins. Bent. Somebody clearly brought them from the factory. You can know. <laughs> yes! Opened at the right side this time. I think. Nope. Wrong side. That's <laughs> all. Oh. oh no, this one doesn't have it on it. Oh, they have it here. They put it small enough. I don't even have it in a little box, so just put them separately. Okay. To be fair, this one isn't packaged the same as that one. See any of the fans bent? Looks all good to me. Trust me, you'd see right away. Yeah, that guys is the smaller one, the 240. This will be going at the top of my case. Uh, my case also um, is compatible with a 240 millimeter um, rad at the top, as well as the 360 at the front. And then the only other space is a 120 at the back. And technically, I actually have a two. Um, 40 at the bottom as well. Uh, not a radiator, just some fans, which again I will show you lot very shortly. 
done. Right. Next, we have the hard line. Now, this is difficult because, again, I'm not, a, like, you know, an expert on it. But this is what we got. So this is the EKPETG pipe. And it is a 10 millimeter inner and a 12 millimeter outer tubing. Uh, these are two pipes I've got here, uh, which I'm going to get out in a second. Uh, and they are both uh, 100, uh, 500 millimeters long, which is 50 centimeters, because uh, I prefer to work in centimeters. What? what? What did I say? Sure. 280. What? Who said 280? I might have said 280. I might have said 240. Because <laughs> none, nothing can hold uh, 140 in my case, I believe. Yeah, leave me alone. Danger's in the chat telling me things. But yeah, this is the um, tubing. Nice. Is this acrylic? Is it a type of acrylic? It's a PETG. But I know there's like acrylic ones you can get. Uh, let's just have a look on the website. These are EK, so again, you can find it out on the uh, website itself. Oops, sorry, thought I pushed that. Uh, so solid. Okay, so it's not particularly acrylic it, the e p e t g is the type of material again it's a 10 in a 12 outer and the length there i've got two pieces each i did get um three of them um because i'm gonna need quite a bit of tubing and also because it's first time bending uh we um, most likely well hopefully not touch wood touch wood um we uh, won't make any mistakes but got a bit of excess just in case uh, and we can always purchase a bit more excess we do have a kit coming tomorrow because you will need all of these bits and pieces i now also have a cat on my desk right about here hello tishy invading stream again at least you won't see her butt this time uh, but yeah, this is um, what I have. Again, we have three of these. Uh, just also, hello. Uh, make sure um, you're, when you're bending um, the tubes, you know what type of tubes you're bending, what the temperature it needs to be in order to bend the tubes. Um, I think that's somewhere. Actually, it doesn't say. But I'm sure you'll be able to Google it. <laughs> that's what I'm going to be doing. Um so yeah just went with this one because it was a good uh branded uh pipe and that i've seen i've had work um done on it before um of course i also do do a fan uh, a tubing as well yes it's tube tube limbo limbo tishy limbo 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 yay oh and the towel broke it but yep, so again, like I said, we got um, three of these and again, two lots uh, in a pack. Uh, so in all, we've got two, four, six, six of the individual tubes. Um, so hopefully we won't need to go through any more of that. So that's good. All right, next up, we have our fittings. Fittings are very important. They're the things that connect your uh, tubes to um, the components themselves. So we went with, or I went with Corsair. Again, brand that I trust, uh, know which fittings are for what. Um, so they also do make sure you get the right fitting sizes. So these are for 20, uh, sorry, 12 millimeter um, size uh, outer dimensions. Uh, size and um, fittings also as you can see there's a little white dot there because they are white um obviously with my computer being a white build are you seriously going to lay there tish this is what she does when i'm playing video games as well my hand is here my keyboard will be here my w um asd keys right here this big butt here that don't lie sits right on my hand 
very annoying uh, but yep yeah, so we got um some of these are oh, their straight fittings and um, what i call straight fittings uh, this one's probably a bit more um of a diagram of what they are so i am actually going to get um my block back out because i do want to see how they fit on actually not my block what can i put it on let me get put it in the distro plate because that's already opened and able to just take out so I'll just put that there for a second um, so yeah we got um so you've got to calculate how many you're going to need for each um these are in packs of four um so i have my gpu my cpu two radiators and a distro plate so each one of those things need an in and an out so you've got and obviously each one so you've got your um gpu which is two so it's two cpu four uh rad six other rad eight and then um the distro plate and the pump i don't know if i have enough no i think i do have enough yeah but you've got to calculate that uh, maths is hard okay people <laughs> so let's go ahead and open these up because i actually have not seen these yet um so i'm hoping they're gonna look sweet oh i hate these little tabby things again um because i can't just go like that and i can't just go like that i have to go like under like this Don't meow me. There we go. So, voila. I'll oh, just stick it there. You see, guys? Just hold them in. Hmm? <laughs> right, so I presume you had had. It's a great start. Had. You always got to make sure you got your little O rings in. I think that went like that. Otherwise you'll get leaks. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is this bit here where you've got the little bevel that goes into the block itself. So just for testing. Like that. And then you make sure you've got your O-ring again. And a bit of pipe. <laughs> I'm trying to grab that bit. <laughs> this bit. Um, so, got your. Uh, hmm. Okay, so everything just was a bit tight for the tube. So I might end up having to do it like this because it's very tight. You squeeze your tube. Down like that. You put that there. And these are compression fitting, I believe. And then it's like that. that'll be it but again i like the nice clean white um fittings from corsair that's in there pretty darn good so let's see how easy 
uh, it's taking it off of the whole thing. Okay, and now I have to try and individually. There we go. Get the actual bit in part. Rotate. And there we are. Let's just put connect these back together so they don't get lost. Last thing I need to do is lose an O-ring, not have any spare. This one goes on here. There we go. So yeah, those are going to look absolutely amazing on these. Ooh, if I don't lose them. So one, two, three. And four. And we've got four in a pack. And I'm not going to open all of them because you saw how uh, long it took me to try and get into this box. <laughs> so let's pop this back in. Oh, actually, I do want to use this one. one more. One more fitting I've got to show you. So those are those. Uh, again. Um, show you the fittings that I found more in depth here. They are not cheap. Uh, I probably think that the fittings probably cost too much, if I'm perfectly honest. I don't think feel that fittings, you know, when you hear fittings, you don't feel that fittings should be a lot, but they are. That's just for four pack and I've got three boxes of them. Uh, so that times three you can see how it starts to get a bit expensive um but yeah again you can make sure that you got it for the right size tubing uh hard lining whichever one you're using again i got the white version they do chrome black or gold let's have a look at what the gold looks like very nice so i was gonna do the chrome again um but i just thought with the white build white is what I want to go for um, so yeah right on to the next one which is the drain so obviously when I'm filling um, the um, system I need to um, be able to drain it because you need to maintain it uh, I believe they say that every six months uh, you should drain um, your system uh, some it depends sometimes on which type of fluid you're um, using uh, and how much you're using your system as well I would say um, but we've been looking up and you know you want to make it as easy as you can and the possibility of it just you know makes it a whole lot smoother uh, so we've got a um, valve um, fit in here also from Corsair um, so let's go and open this up and I can show you roughly what it's going to be doing for us if I don't stab myself there we go so this unfortunately did not come in white so I got it in chrome again it'll fit with my back plate and some of the um, uh, sort of matted chrome that i have in my um on my motherboard but basically this is it it has coarse hair written on it it's very shiny uh, and basically um it's gonna allow us to block it off so at the moment it's open um let me oh god it's very strong oh there we go and blocked off so the way um, in which uh, I've also have learnt um, to know if it is open or closed is if your um, tap is perpendicular how, how do you say that word? Per perpendicular per perpendic 90 degrees per per perpendicular. perpendicular that means it's closed so if it's parallel that means it's opened right yeah so perpendicular crossing basically 
uh, means that it's closed. Uh, so it'd be like that until we put our um, extra bit of tubing on uh, and um, that will go to the, this is going to be in the lowest part of the system because obviously gravity will take its course uh, to the lowest part and then when we want to empty it out, all we need to do is turn the valve and it will start pouring out. So that was a very sort of, you know, pre-empting, you know, what needs being done with a water block system in terms of maintenance and um, finding a good spot to try and do this in. So it is, in my opinion, you don't need this, um, but it does make life a hell of a lot easier. Uh, so that is the valve, also from Corsair. And Angel is saying, yes, I am a Corsair fangirl. <laughs> I just I can't I can't fault them. I mean I think what it is with Corsair is obviously they do I feel do a lot more white products uh, in terms of obviously color, um, which is what my theme has been. I like the aesthetically white, uh, especially with the RGB. I don't sit you know I think RGB on black isn't like as clean and doesn't obviously it dulls the color of the rgb whereas obviously the white reflects it um just makes it in my sense uh, my opinion everyone's entitled to their own opinion um but in my opinion it just makes the rgb pop a little bit more and i like all the different colors on the rgb spectrum um so and of course here it does a lot of white products um which is why i have all was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of my eight fans are all um, Corsair fans. I particularly swapped out my case fans for Corsair fans, apart from one. Um, so, you know, um, again, the RGB on the RAM uh, was nice and it also did the RAM in white. Uh, and also um, the AIO plate that I have. Um, it's white, white radiators, as you saw. Um, so uh, it just and they it looks really clean as well. Um, their products. I mean, there are other products. Um, uh, you know, don't get me wrong, that are nice um, looking. Um, but the coarse hair, especially like I said, with the white theme, the white builds that I'm doing, just look amazing as well. Uh, but that is the um, valve tap uh, that we got. Um, I couldn't find it on coarse hair website for some strange reason. Uh, so I've got the um, Overclockers UK, which is actually where I got uh, most of these products from uh, on here. So you, you can see a few of the specs. Again, it says what it's compatible with, uh, what metal it is, because obviously that's very important. Uh, only do it with brass or copper products, which the other products are. Um, standard um, G um, quarter inch thread so yeah it's really good right that is nearly it my last piece 90 degrees so obviously being a um a hard line uh bending the tubes is going to be difficult so to help us out a little bit we do have some 90s um, degree bends uh, fittings uh, so let's go open these up these are also white They're also the corsair i wanted to keep the fittings all the same uh, because um, i'm just worried that if they're not the same it might mess it up basically um, so we kept them all the same uh, but there was some 90s that i do think will make life a lot easier And I hate these. It's just not a sponsored video. It's just me appreciating all the products that I'm using. Ah, that's the only thing. <laughs> all right, uh, let's get these out. Because I also want to see how these look. So again, these are a pack of two. Again, fittings are not cheap. Pack of two, twenty-five pounds. So these two little things here, very convenient. 
probably worth more the money than the straight ones, I would say. But still, one, and quite heavy, two, £25 worth. But, again, great products, look amazing, nice, clean bends. Like I say, they are a bit heavy, though, on the heavy side, which I'm a little bit concerned on the weight in terms of the bends and where I'm going to be putting them. But most of these, actually, I'm going to be putting on the plates. Oh, where's that open? Oh, oh scared me. Uh, on... Oh, no, they don't just go on like that. Hmm. Was not expecting that. I thought they would have gone on. Yeah, that's uh, paper to paper. Like that. Paper to paper. How's that work then? So, what I wanted is some of them I wanted to have as just like a night you say on here. But for some reason, it's not. Okay, we'll have to figure that out, guys. Maybe I'll have to do a 90 from there and then a 90 out, which is, you know, doable. Uh, there is just one thing I wanted to check to make sure it was doing it the right way. So that's correct those back see again planning yeah these are nice let's get the loop out these fit in here oops after doing all that I'll put the O-ring on all the way over this way. It's always good to do a little twist. It works the O-ring. You can actually lubricate it with a bit of water. You've got some difficult spots that you need to do a nice bend in. Put the other tube in here. It's going to look nice and clean. So those are looking good. Just want to also just check. It's very hard for me to find these uh, on the Corsair website. I just typed it in Google and it sort of come up. But I do know they do other type of fittings. Um, but you can't really like just go to component parts and water block. Because it just takes you to design it. Also, another great feature, you can actually um, design your own loop uh, in here. Uh, so you can sort of get a picture already of how it's going to work. Um, but for some reason, these fittings I find very hard to um, see where they are. Uh, other than when I Google them. But yep, that's that guys. So let me just take this off. Right, tighty, loosey, lefty. I'm going to let Danger take that off. Put that back. Um, but that is almost everything. That's all the components, yeah. Um, I do have a few other little bits and pieces that um, will help, obviously, and you would need for the actual process. Um, so let me just... <laughs> He's having trouble, too. Um, let me just put this back. Let's not do that. So another thing that we've got here is the coolant. 
This is a one litre um, pre-mixed uh, coolant. I got a clear version for the time being because, like I said, I'm not too sure um, what um, colour I'm wanting. I think I might do a clear because I like all the RGB uh, of it going round. Um, so um, we'll see how it is. I can always drain uh, the fluid and or add colour in to it. Um, so um, again, me uh, and Danger wasn't 100% sure um, how much we needed, so I bought three. <laughs> but I bought these off of Amazon, so I can easily just return uh, them. Also, these will come in very handy. These are little squeezy bottles um, in order to fill um, up the um, loop, uh, basically. So these will fit nicely into the dish show plate or wherever your um, loop is going to be in, even if you had a reservoir. Um, if you put that in and just give it a good squeeze, uh, you can fill it up easy. These are two, uh, 500 uh, milliliters, so hold half of that um, bottle of coolant. Um, but you've got to do it slowly anyway. Uh, so you'll need something to put that in, whether or not it's a funnel or anything like that. Uh, this also came today. This is the heat gun that we're going to be using to bend our tubes. Uh, so high performance it also sits upright nicely as you can see um, there it'll sit up right like that so we can bend our tubes just as he's doing there that's uh you'll need one of those our bending kit isn't here um but i will show you which one i'm getting uh, we also have some isotope alcohol 99.9 you will need this, um, although I have a thermal pad on my CPU, the GPU will not have that. Um, so you'll need some type of cleaner to get all the thermal paste off of there to put the new thermal pads that come with the um, uh, water block uh, for the GPU. Um, so this is what I'm going to be using to clean off all of that paste and gunk and everything off of there. Um, there is a lovely video of J2Sense. Um, who I will try and shout out or maybe Danger if you can shout out Jay's Two Senses YouTube video um, he particularly did um, a video where he was doing different types of fluids in a water cooled system uh, one particularly being alcohol and another one being chocolate milk oh, you like that one. if possible please um, Danger will link that into the description um chat i'll also put it in the description uh, because it is a hilarious um video um but also um there is another video of his that shows him cleaning it out because it went terribly wrong because you put milk and alcohol together and it clogs and yeah but this is um what um you would use to clean that sort of crap out um so we've got loads of that um uh, also in order to um, fill your loop, you need to enable the pump reservoir, or particularly the pump to get the fluid moving throughout your loop uh, because you don't want it to obviously be running dry. Uh, however, you don't want your reservoir to run dry. So I have this um, bridge um, plug, 12 pin bridge plug. Uh, so basically this will only turn on the pump uh, and it won't turn on your motherboard or all the bits on it. Uh, I, it's not 100% needed, but it's going to make life easy. It's going to make sure that your pump doesn't run dry, which can obviously damage your pump if it runs dry. And it's just going to give you a lot more control over um, how much you um, start filling it up. Um, so there's the link. Uh, Danger's posted. Uh, for you so that is really cheap um just brought that um to make life easy and i will just show you a lot um let me just bring my keyboard out sorry i should have got this one up uh, which is this one it just needs to load this is the hardline kit that we have purchased, which will be coming in tomorrow. 
Um, I've ordered this today with Amazon, so it's coming tomorrow. Um, so this is what we're going to be using to bend everything with. So obviously hard line. Going to need this bits and bobs to do it. We're going to need a sword to cut to make sure it's smooth. You need your little, um, what I call sort of like a borrowing um, sort of blade that's in there. So this will clean up both the inside and if you flip it around the outside of the actual tubing. Uh, so it will make sure that the inner part of the dimensions of the tube is nice and smooth because if you have um, jagged edges in um, that you've cut from just obviously the saw, um, you can um, rip the o-rings, uh, which will obviously cause a leak, which is what we don't want, um, because water and components and electric, bye bye, uh, bad bad bad. Um, so yeah, so that actually um, makes it all smooth. It sort of, you know sands it away in a sense oh. and then obviously we've got our little um jig um to um support the tube whilst you cut it then we've got our lovely bending um tool so this you actually put the tube in and then you bend it once it's obviously heated around and you can get your perfect 90s 45s and 180 degree bends um so it's really good also they have little stop blocks here so you get the right sort of length if you need just a little bit in there. Also comes with the rubber uh, that you need because if you bend um, any of the tubes uh, and you start bending without having anything in it, it will just collapse on itself. Um, so the plastic will just mush together and you, you won't be able to get no fluid in there and it looks absolutely terrible. Um, so obviously you need to have something whilst you're bending it to be able to um, support it and keep its shape. Uh, so that's what that rubber here is for. So that'll be going inside the tube itself. And again, that's a little, you see little blades that will um, get in the inside once you put your little tube around there. Uh, so yeah, so that's the kit that we're going to be getting tomorrow. Oh, also, here's the premix um, fluid uh, that we got. Also, check your fluid and um, what type. There's plenty of different types. I didn't personally choose this fluid. Um, Danger did it for me because it was confusing me. Uh, a little bit of which ones to get and etc there are hundreds of different types uh, there's ultra violet ones uh, or is it uv uv ray ones and you, you name it, it, it there is it you know it's like there's also different colors one there's concentrated um, ones um, but we're getting the premix one just because it's our first time and we want to be able to do it smoothly and easily <laughs> Uh, so yep so that's that guys i am also just gonna um show you um also just gonna show you my photos if it will show um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Mm. Why is it not showing? One second, guys. I'm just trying to show you the photo. I'm going to close it and open it back up. Uh, what calling? There we go. Right, so this is my current setup. Uh, so I'm going to show you how obviously I'm planning on doing my loop here. Uh, so this is my current setup, as you can see. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So you see here, I've got my um, 240 uh, radiator with my AIO to my CPU here. I do have another um, 120 uh, milliliter fan here. So again, my case can support a three fan um or a free fan radiator cover here this little white cover here is actually removable so in terms i could take that off and it gives me the space that i need in order to fit fans push pull configuration um fans on a radiator there uh, you also see obviously it's my power supply you see my two fans that i've got at the bottom here 
so that's also important because the next slide which you sort of already saw is going to show you where it is you've got the beast here which is my 3090 rogue strix you've got my 120 milliliter fan at the back and then the two at the top here uh so back to uh zooming out and then back to this one so this is the sort of layout in which i'm going to be having obviously um the water block system so you can see here obviously the gpu when you take off the heat sink on your standard um uh air cooled um block because obviously this is a triple fan at the bottom here so you don't need those with a water cool so those come off and it makes it incredibly smaller like in extremely the, the difference between the two is just going to be outrageous uh, you didn't see too much because obviously the water block um the gpu water block was broken um so you didn't really get to see how thick it was uh but basically that would just be the thickness of it uh plus obviously the back plate plus probably another bit of the size of the back plate for the actual chipset itself um that's how much it's going to be so at the moment this is taking up three of my um pcie slots um back plates um, I reckon that's just going to be two uh, when I get it on and in there. Um, so this pink um, square here, it indicates where the GPU is going. Like this red one. Um, so when I take these fans out, uh, it's just literally a gap there. I do have grates um, that came with the fan, uh, came with the case, sorry, that would go there if nothing else was there. Um, but other than that, it would just be empty. So this is where I'm going to be putting my um, pump reservoir. Uh, so you should see here the pump, this square bit here is where the actual pump part is going to be. So we'll have, we've have we got holes here and we've got holes here. With the GPU, they're going to be somewhere sort of here and here uh, going up and down. Uh, so we're thinking of some sort of bends here, etc. This screen block here is going to be where my distro plate is. Obviously, the C, um, the C, the yellow block here is where my CPU is going to be, and then we've got the 240 millimeter radiator that's going to be going at the top, uh, and the white box obviously is the 360 radiator, which we're going there. So that's the plan. So me and Deja were trying to figure out the loop situation of like where it's going to go, etc. Um, so we came up with. Um, Hmm. In a second, I'll be able to find it. Uh, ah, here. Right. <laughs> My, um, you know, art that I do here. Um, so, obviously, the different colours here, unfortunately. But um, the red uh, mark here is the dish plate. And I've also made a little reference here about where the actual um, holes are. Because it's very important to know where the hole is. Remember that, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's important to know um, which hole you're going to be using for your intake and outtakes. Um, he's giggling over there. Um, so this is sort of what we were thinking on doing. Uh, so with um, the pump reservoir, which is going to be here, the pump side is going to be here. So remember, we had our little ones on the side and the ones on the top. Uh, so we're going out from there into the gpu out the gpu into the cpu out from the cpu into the distro plate um and then out from the distro plate to the rad the top rad the 240 and then out from the um 240 to the one uh, 360 and then out from the 360 back into the pump reservoir that's the plan it may change depending on the type of fittings um obviously i've done them all lines here uh, ideally i could use a 90 degree in here and make it go straight although the 90 is not fitting in there for some reason so i'm gonna have to look that up a bit my computer does look different shouldn't look different from any other things Thank you for and hello that. sam uh, but this one yes is going to be very different to what i have <laughs> But currently, this is my computer. <laughs> he was referring to the sketch. My sketch drawing, yes. This is my new PC. Hi, Sam. Danger says hello. Um, but um, yeah, so this is my water block um, uh, plan. Um, 
unfortunately sam you've just come in towards the end of this video um i've just displayed all of my um water um, components the water block components i have and if you go to the very start of this video you will see that my gpu water block is broken so i will have to contact them tomorrow to get a replacement um which was very disappointing but hopefully they'll be able to sort it out quickly oh. Oh, well, don't work yourself too hard, Sam. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's sort of the plan of doing it. Um, debating, obviously, when we were doing it, whether which way round um, to have the radiator. So whether having the tubings for the top coming out this side or the left side or on the right side. Uh, but sort of looking around, we were sort of thinking this is probably the best uh, situation. Um, I wouldn't have, I don't think I would have put the tubes down at the bottom here anyway. Uh, just for those simple factors, I don't really, I think I could potentially get away with keeping my um, block uh, sort of cover here. Um, because currently the fa I've got three fans on this side and then the radiator. Um, so it's going to be exactly the same, but the fittings are going to be up here. So if I did the fittings down here, I would have to take off this plate. Um, so I, I like this because this back plate here and this back plate here, I um, spray painted myself. They're originally black. Uh, they're not exactly the same color white as my actual case, but it's close enough. And I think I did quite a good job for my first time spray painting anything really. Uh, so yeah, so that's um, the plan of the front um, radiator are gonna be the fittings at the top. Uh, given that we didn't want, I mean, it's going to have to a long tubing going across at the top anyway, regardless if I have I had the fittings for the top radiator over this side, it'll go from the distro plate all the way over here and then again back and forth. Also the top to bottom of the radiator from the 360 at the front rad back down to the um, reservoir pump. So I might need a little bit more tubing. <laughs> I'm not too sure, um, but we will see how we go. But yep, that is, I believe, it, guys. Um, that is the plan. We've got it all laid out here uh, for you. I might do another diagram just here, showing a bit more um, where the whole the sort of like the tubing, like this diagram, but more on the actual PC at the moment. Um, but yeah, and I probably won't need my support bracket, although I might still keep it um, just to support um, the thing. Also, I'm thinking of getting a heat sink for that M.2 because I don't like the look of it. Uh, this is a chrome type metal I was talking about on my actual motherboard. Uh, so the chrome um, <clears throat> uh, valve that we got. Let me just... Um, oops, wrong button. I don't have a thing for the picture. Uh, so the chrome fit in. It's not exactly the same type as the bit here. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit there as well. Oops, helps if I click on the right thing. Uh, so it's not exactly the same. This is a very shiny chrome. That's quite a matte and sort of, you know, not gun metal, but like that sort of texture. Whereas obviously you've got the nice chrome here. But this piece will be going, uh, let me just zoom back out here. Will be going most likely somewhere here. Uh, so it's going to go on the lowest part. Um, so you'll just have the little bit there, the valve. I could always just um, take off this plate run it through my grid because this folds down and obviously you've got the glass on here already uh, actually i don't even need to do that i could just put a flexi hose out the actual glass itself and run into a container to drain my system when i need to maintain it so yeah that is the plan guys um this is going to take me a while um again i'm still waiting for the um, bending tool kit um, to arrive tomorrow um, also I'm gonna have to send back the GPU block so it's gonna take however long that's gonna take 
um, which is probably going to be about another week or two, probably. Um, given who I was dealing with, uh, they're not exactly fast, I don't believe. Um, but we'll see, and I will be um, s um, keeping you up to date, whether or not it be stream, whether or not it be on the YouTube. I will be uploading everything and trying to keep everything together. So um, you can always check that out. I'll link the... Um, discord and the youtube channel there for you uh but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed um this um guide uh not, well it's not really a guide my plans for my water blocking and also the unboxing of all the components that i'm going to be using and hopefully i'll see you shortly in the next couple of weeks with some actual components starting building um with um your components so i'm gonna obviously try to get it all done in one day because obviously i need my computer to run because i don't have a spare um so it's all gonna be sort of go at a time so it might not be um streamed via my twitch it might be streamed via dangerous twitch account but it will be uploaded to the youtube video a uh, youtube channel rather um and it will probably be edited a bit um with using my adobe software that i have um which i've been using um quite regularly especially with my um um other bits and pieces that i've been doing um but yeah that's gonna be it guys uh so we will see you again soon and i hope everyone is staying safe and has a lovely evening afternoon morning wherever you are we'll see you again bye Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. If you have any hints, tips or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.